That's why it is my pleasure, it is my honor to introduce my friend, my colleague, your friend, our friend, Tom Sinecandro. tremendously supportive for the issues that we all care about. Um, like he said, Barbara Italian, who is now Vice Chair of Ways and Means, and myself, have continually worked with Bob to get things done, and he's been tremendously supportive. Um, one of the first meetings I had with Bob actually was, he said, you know, because when I was talking about these issues, he goes, you know, when I came in here, I was where you are, arguing for these issues. So he is a guy that got this from the very beginning of his of being here at the State House, and now as speaker in a position of power, he's been tremendously helpful to our community. So thank you very much, Bob. Um, I'm joined here today with my wife, Mary Ann, who is also um, Started some, started two uh, nonprofit organizations in our local community to support families and people with intellectual disabilities. Um, a group of one group was a social inclusion group for social activities for people with intellectual disabilities. And I'm also joined with one of my children, one of my four children. This is my son David, who joined me as well. As you can see, he's a big Red Sox fan, ready to go this season. Um, I also want to thank um, one of my uh, interns, John Anton, is here somewhere, who just received an award in Washington. Um, intellectual disabilities. Um, I'm also joined by aide uh, Brian Jenkins is here also in the back. Um, the other people that I want to thank and make sure that everybody understands this in this building who came here today is how tremendously supportive your reps and senators are on this issue and the issues you care about. They have been tremendously supportive and that's why services are still coming and why we're moving ahead with a lot of different initiatives. It's because the people in this building really care about your issues. And many of them have been here today. Um, I'm joined, many of them came here, sent people here. They're busy throughout the building, but I appreciate them all coming here today and appreciate their support. So you should thank them very much. Um, I have one um, major point to make today, I guess. Um, and the major point is how important the disability community has been and the people served by the Department of Developmental Services, the men and women that received the services, who we've now seen a tremendous civil rights movement happening and, it's, and it's, I'm proud to be part of that. But the movement it is the people receiving the services themselves, people with intellectual disabilities and developmental disabilities, have now come to the table. They've come to the table and say, we need to be heard. We need to move this ahead. This is our lives. And I think that's the biggest thing that I've seen. Uh, John has been a tremendous part of that as, as leader of Mass Advocates Standing Strong. But what we've seen and what I've seen since I got here is that the name change of the department wouldn't have happened without you guys. Wow. So it's you people that are now empowering yourself 
to move forward and change your lives and change the lives for everybody in the Commonwealth for the better. So I appreciate you and I applaud what you've been doing. But also, we can't rest on our laurels. We have a lot of work for ahead of us. Um, many of you are here in the building today. Many of you will meet with your representatives and your senators, and you absolutely must do that. They must see your face. They must hear from you. It is so important for you to do that. Um, we're now in a struggle. We're now in the budget cycle where we're looking at very important issues and looking at funding issues. And we need to make sure that people need, who need the support are getting the proper support. So it's important for you to exercise your rights as citizens, to make sure you get out there and vote, make sure you talk to your reps and senators, make sure that you have a say in your own lives. It's so important that you take control of your own lives as you move ahead in the decisions about where you work, where you live, and what you do for social activities. Because this is your life and you need to take control of it. I want to thank you all for coming today. I want to thank you for your tremendous work and advocacy. We're joined here by Gloria Fox. <laughs> Um, this is the people's house. This is your house. It's important that you take the opportunity to talk to your representative senator. So thank you very much. Thank you to the Ark of Massachusetts, Leo Sarkissian, and also to the MPDC. Thank you. Yeah.